you know, I can't fully sign off for 2023 without talking about the bomb that was BTI before the impact. But I still, you know, I still commend them for trying. It's just that history has shown that when they try to do some kind of secondary show, it just doesn't work. But with all due respect to Impact, a secondary show is very difficult to do. WWE is the only company that's ever really fully pulled it off. And and even for a long time, even though millions of people were still watching, there were still people who were not watching SmackDown and said, I don't, nothing happens on SmackDown. That's the B show, right? I mean, there was a point in time where people said no one watches SmackDown. Um, you know, but WCW did Thunder. Uh, NWA even tried to have this like NWA USA show at one point that was like kind of cruiserweight specific. That didn't work. Um, what else? AEW has done Collision. They've done Rampage. And they haven't worked. So to do a second show is very difficult. Impact had Explosion for a while. Explosion was an absolute joke. But that was more about satisfying TV contracts overseas because they had to deliver a second show. Where I think I think they were able to ultimately honor that with doing the Impact Plus shows and the um the Twitch shows and everything. I don't I don't remember exactly. It's really neither here nor there. But that was a bomb. Um B, and, so, and, and so BTI was a bomb because there was no consistency. There were some good aspects of it, I think. I, I watched it a few times. I didn't really care. But there were some good, you know, it, it looked better. The colors popped better. Uh, Gia sounded very good on commentary, and it was a it was just a break from hearing Ray Wall. Jade was doing the ring announcing, so that was a break from Penzer. Josh Matthews was back for a little bit. I don't mean a little bit. He always did the show, but I mean he had his portions where he would speak. But there was no consistency with the wrestling. I mean, once upon a time, they got us to tune into this Iron Man, Iron Man match between TJP and Josh Alexander. And that was big time. But then you follow it up, and, I, and I'm pulling this out of my ass. This isn't exactly what they did, but you would have this like great match, and then you would follow it up with like Shira versus Crazy Steve, the menagerie Crazy Steve that was around for a bit. You know, like you would just follow it up with something no one really cared to see. And that was the only match they threw on the show. It was an exclusive match. There was, there was one match. The other exclusive match they tried to do was a digital exclusive, and that bombed as well. But when you have a match, one, like, one day you have one of the stars of the roster, and then you have – there was a couple matches where they had like two jobbers facing each other. That weren't even part of the impact roster. It was just odd, man. The, the way they really put these matches together was just really odd. And I always thought they should have done two matches. I thought one that people semi care about, and one where you're trying out the gut check guys or or some of these indie guys. You could almost present it like your version of NXT. And I think that could have worked a little bit. But as I said, there are challenges to a second show. And for me, a show like this has to have some wrestling that you care about. And then it has to have something that is not so wrestling centric that we would care about. So I think with Explosion, once upon a time, Josh Matthews did the Around the Ring segment where he was interviewing someone. Of course, they had music in the background because that's all the, the only way they know how to edit interviews. But it was... um. It, they were out of character. And I thought they were entertaining for that reason. You know, Hannafin will do the between the ropes. And at first I thought it was a okay idea, but they're both in character and there's music and it's, you know, so I thought that that part of explosion kind of worked. You know, if you can do a brief interview where you're just really sitting down in a raw format, talking about, why someone signed with impact or talking about their history. Like, I think it could have worked a couple of the episodes I saw were showing old AJ styles matches and stuff. And I don't think that was a, 
a uh, something they did often. Maybe maybe only one or two times I saw it, they did that. They like to show matches in their entirety from the previous week, or they they fall in love with their clips. Uh, I don't know how much WWE does it now, but I, I feel like when I watch, they use clips very sporadically and only when they really mattered. And I can't even think of AEW doing a lot of clips from the previous week. I feel like they don't. And, you know, the other show I watch, NWA, I don't think they do either. Impact really loves their fucking highlights. And they show them at every turn. BTI, YouTube, before Impact starts. I mean, they would show a bunch on BTI and then Impact would start and it would be more more clips from the previous week. You know, so I, I just think they had a format that was probably they probably had a vision in the beginning, but I just don't it just did obviously it didn't work. They used to have the show on Access TV. Nobody watched it. So then they had to move it to YouTube. I think it was part of the insiders at one point, And then they just made it a free YouTube show. Because, I mean, just nobody cared. And they had a moment where they were actually doing a good job because they were trying to make the match. They were trying to tie the match into the show. So at some point during Impact, they would be like earlier on BTI. And then they would show you something that happened. And that was good. They did that for three or four months where they just tried to tie the, the two together, you know, and I, I'll give them their flowers for that, for trying. But ultimately, the show bombed, you know, they tried Aftershock at one point. That was one of the other shows. People destroyed me in the comments when I was like, this isn't going to work. Oh, give it a chance. It was a complete fucking bomb. But they, they, they always bomb. But at the same time. What wrestling show, what wrestling company has really effectively done a second show? I think it just shows us that the more is more concept doesn't work. The less is more concept. You know, like at one point they used to do the Impact Plus show and Twitch. And there were months where they had Impact Plus, Twitch, and a pay-per-view. You know, and that's it's too much. And you see what how AEW's product is really hurting from providing too much. So I think uh, Impact just focus, needs to focus on their TV show, their Impact Plus shows. And I, that being said, I do still think they need to come up with some kind of YouTube content that gets people engaged that is not so wrestling-centric. I know the memberships, they tried the Sammy Callahan thing. I didn't like that very much. I haven't watched Joe Hendricks' food fight thing. Um, Taylor Wilds was... It's it's weird. Taylor Wells' podcast is actually pretty good, but once they started bringing it to the YouTube channel, like they were, the the interviews were horrible. Like I I don't know if it was just it was um per, on purpose that she knew she was going to be on YouTube, so she just did a different style of interview. I don't know, but you know, like right now they sound good again. The podcasts are good again, but the you know they've tried to do things like that, and it just it's not hitting, but. I, I do think they have to find something very, very original, something that no one else is doing that gets people invested in the product that does not involve two people fighting. And that's a challenge. It really is a challenge. And we're, we're going to see if they try to do some kind of before the impact show with TNA as well. Uh, I hope that they don't because they, they try to do these pre-shows, post-shows, and it, it just only the most hardcore of hardcore watch. So just focus on the television show. I think less is going to be more going into 2024. But, um, you know, time of death for BTI, whatever the time was of the first episode.